Lions TV. This is the Den Daily bringing you all the latest gossip views and transfer news from in and around the Den. Not really the time of year for Den Dailies. However, yesterday, reluctant Nico on Twitter, who is Alan Nixon, a Sun journalist, very reliable source, has come out of the news that Charlie Creswell is wanted by Norwich and their gaffer Dean Smith on a permanent deal in January should he not be required at Leeds in the long run, of course, he is currently on loan at our club, having played nine games this season and scoring three goals. England under 21 in the national. The new Maldini, the Leeds fans were saying, but it hasn't really worked out for him, in my opinion, at Millwall. And I feel, on reflection, I may have been a little bit overcritical or just harsh because he's obviously a good player, Charlie Creswell. You don't play for England under 21s and you don't get through a youth system like Leeds and break into their first team at 19 years old if you're a bad player. But it's a little bit for me like Troy Parrott syndrome. I just feel that it's not really the right fit for him at Mere Wall. Maybe I should have been expressing it in that way. Instead of saying, you know, he's shit, send him back. I just feel, as I said, it's just not the right fit for a Mere Wall football club. I also feel that the championship is, is a completely different type of league to the Premier League. Not just the fact that the Premier League is a lot higher in quality, but the championship, in my opinion, is a lot more physical and he's going to get some big, horrible airy centre forwards trying to kick the shit out of him. And for me, he's not been good defensively. Yes, he's currently a joint top goal scorer, or one behind Fleming now, with three goals. Um, but defensively, you know, you, you can put a lot of goals down to him. And I feel at times, I've said this before in previous videos, that Jake Cooper was getting bullets. Cooper's made mistakes as well, but Cooper's been getting bullets for Creswell. The two goals at Sheffield United, well, one was definitely Creswell's fault. And the first one, I feel he stepped up. And I don't know what he was doing instead of just covering him behind Jake Cooper who didn't, didn't win that header. And maybe Cooper should be winning that header at six foot seven. And maybe I shouldn't be digging out a 19-year-old. But I'm just telling you what the news is, that Norwich want him on a permanent. And I feel, you know, that would might be a better fit for him. I think that we should send him back. And I've seen in reports in the press that if he doesn't play a certain amount of games, then we will get fined. This goes back to as well, the start of the season when he came in, we saw that fantastic show reel. And people were saying, yeah, it's brilliant, brilliant. We want him, we want him. It was a straight replacement for Daniel Ballard. He's not on the same planet as Daniel Ballard, for one, who, of course, went to Sunderland. But for two, we've got our own defenders there, Hayden Muller, who I keep alluding to, who was broken into the first team in, in, during COVID, 2020. Now can't get a sniff. And on top of that, Alex Mitchell is absolutely flying at St. Johnston. We do have a January recall option on Alex Mitchell. If you haven't seen how he's been getting on, he scored a fantastic equaliser against um, why well, is it all the centre-backs who can't defend uh, but can score goals? No, Alex can defend as well. Uh, threatens to get in and around our team and you think he's going to get his opportunity but we sent him out to St. Johnston. Okay, he's Scottish football but he scored a really good goal against Celtic at the weekend. Late into injury time. Free kick into the box. Controls it on his right under pressure. Passes it into the back of the net with his left. And we've been hearing some really, really good reports from North of the Baller. And we've seen it work before, haven't we? With Danny McNamara and St. Johnson and Callum Davison. So Alex is doing really well up there, seeing a lot of great reviews on him. And with Creswell, it not really working out. And with the threat of us getting fined, if he doesn't play enough games, I would definitely say to Leeds, look, if you want him back and or Norwich want to sign him, then by all means, send him back. It hasn't worked out for him. Mean, as I said, not the right fit. And I think he'd probably be suited to a to a League One side. Ironically, he'd probably do well at Norwich because in the Championship, he'd have to do a lot less defending and he's going to get a lot more time on the ball trying to play out the back. And we did see his show where he looked fantastic at playing out the back. I haven't really seen that, if I'm honest. And a lot of defensive mishaps. And if Leeds want him back to sell to Norwich or to keep for himself and we can get Alex Mitchell back through the door, then I think that would definitely be the right option. Of course, it is January, so it is a while off. Creswell currently in the wilderness, not even in the squad. Last time out, the last two games now, I think, Rotherham and last Saturday in our victory against the team. Well, I can't even remember we played now. And it was two days ago. And I still can't remember it. So you'll have to let me know in the comments. Fuck me, who did we beat? Never mind, look. It is what it is. And I'll keep you posted the more I hear on it. But for now, that's the news coming out of SE16. Charlie Creswell could potentially be going to Norwich on a permanent deal in January. So that's your lot for the Den Daily. Of course, we meet Middlesbrough on Saturday. Honestly, I'm absolutely losing my mind. Please subscribe to Lions TV. Come on, you Lions.